Welcome everybody, or as they say here in Uganda. I'm Jacob and with me is Tura and at the moment we are located just south of the equator at El Cambio Academy, a football academy in Uganda. In this podcast, we are going to invite you into the universe of El Cambio Academy. And in collaboration with the children and the staff of the academy, we will try to outline the history of El Cambio and the ideas and values behind it. At El Cambio we have football as a main priority together with education. But above all, I believe that character building uh, is even more important. We are sure that you know Thomas by now. In this episode, we will focus more on the development of the student's character, which will reflect the interviews. If you have such a kind of personality that is embracing, loving, caring towards others, if you are curious, and if you are helpful towards others, and you can really work hard, and you allow yourself to do mistakes, that's when you really develop. So if you have that kind of mindset and personality, you can bring it to education and football and grow those areas. One of me and Jacob's tasks as volunteers is teaching the subject character, and it's amazing to work with the curious children. But let's not talk too much about ourselves. Yes, let's hear from Roby, who's a character teacher and who knows all about the ideas, importance and plans of the subject. Um, character is all about social intelligence. Um, we need to know what to say and what to do when we are with people. So I guess you can say that character is all about social skills, how to socialize with other people, but also how to develop as a human and how to behave. I was a footballer myself when I was young. I was uh, quite gifted, I could play with the ball, but my mindset was not right. I felt always that I was not allowed to make any mistakes. So for me, it was hard to be in football. Tura, I can really feel the storytelling in this. Exactly. Thomas learning from his own youth career and applying that to the whole academy with 37 students. So Thomas is trying to teach the children that it's okay to make mistakes and the only way you can get better is learning from your mistakes. So let's hear what Hamza, whom you got to learn in the previous episode, has to say about this. So whenever we are playing, we want to learn from the games. We know that all of us want to go higher in life and we want to become pro players. Whenever we are winning, we want to win when we are improving. So the saying, winning at all cost, doesn't exist at El Cambio. You have to learn from your mistakes and improve. Whenever we play, lose and learn, then it's very good. So the most important thing is to learn and improve. One of the football coaches at El Cambio is Eddie, who trains the children almost every single day. Let's hear about Eddie's life story. I also had a dream uh, when I was young to play uh, professional football. Eddie still has a lot of energy and power on the pitch, which the children benefit from every single practice. So, of course, I, desi- I decided to not quit football at all, but trying to find other ways how I can uh, help them to make their dreams to come true. But what do the children do at football practice? This is something that Elvis and Hamza can tell you about. We always have great training sessions programmed. We always improve on our strengths and weaknesses. But besides focusing on strengths and weaknesses, the team has a theme of the week as Hamza will elaborate for you. Here we know that we have the theme of the week, maybe it's passing the whole week, then you can get to know in more details 
What do you need to pass? How can you pass? How can you do this? Besides football, education is very important at El Cambio. Let's let Hamza and Jennifer explain. So it's important to have classes. We all know that football has a period where it ends. And then you continue with your education. So part of El Cambio's education program is to prepare the children for a life after or even without football. Whenever you, you go away from football, then education is the, the other path you may pass in. Yes, exactly. And now James will tell you a bit more about the subjects at school. Here at El Cambio, we have mathematics, English, geography, physics, chemistry, biology, art. A lot of the children's favorite subject is English. For instance, immaculate. My favorite subject at school is English. And I love English because I get to, to communicate to other people. While they are at school learning, they are also having a lot of fun. And when they return from school, we can always tell that the children are having a great time with each other. We have some teammates who are funny, like Zidane. When he asks some questions, uh, some of them funny and makes us to laugh. But it's not only in school the spirits are high. At the academy, the students have the subject character, where they sing, dance, and are having a lot of fun. One group is uh, they're working with some creative things, where they jump, they sing, they uh, they dance, uh, they just have fun, and they just have smiles onto their faces when they are nurtured in a good way. At character, the boys and girls are separated. And now Jennifer will tell you more about what the girls are learning. Glossation in full, it's girls leading our world. So they wanted to separate boys and girls. Also, girls should learn some things about girls. So the children learn a lot. But above all, they learn to be outgoing and welcoming towards others. Hello everyone. Hey everyone. Hi everyone. Hi everyone. Before coming here, we didn't, we didn't have that character to, to come and speak with other people. But right now, we have the character to come and, and interact with other people. If he's, he or she is new in the area, so we interact with him or her, which is very good. And one of the new players, Arnold, got exactly such a warm welcome. The big boys, the young boys, they gave us some hugs. They were welcoming us at ECA Academy. So udover at character er et fag, børnene har på skemaet, er det altså også noget, de bruger på fodboldbanen, i klassen, eller faktisk bare over alt tiden. So I'm really proud of the players that we have, because when you see them on the pitch and off the pitch, they are really working very hard. So, character is not just a subject. It's something that the children use on the pitch, in the classroom, or everywhere, all the time. And, as you can hear, Coach Eddie is very proud of the students. What I've improved about from football is my character. The character has helped me to improve on my way of being an effective leader. So Hamza has improved his leadership skills, which is something you can really tell from the way he's playing. So our players, they have that strong mentality that can help them, that can help them to be pushed to that level where they want to be in the future. 
they dedicate a lot, they push a lot, they work very hard so that they can make it. So I'm just happy to see them on that road and just wishing them the best. <laughs> So, as Eddie says, the children have a very strong mentality, which means that they through education, football and not least character, have all the right tools to become the future leaders of Africa and thereby help and give back to the community and their country. And just that, we will elaborate a lot more about in the next episode. So now, it's just left for us and all the children to say... Thank you for listening!